Life after the NFL. For some players, it's a bit of a letdown, but not for Rodney Hampton. His career with the New York Giants includes two trips to the Pro Bowl and that Super Bowl ring. And now he's working just as hard to help young people with Hamps Camps. And he joins us now. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thanks for having me. Great memories of those playing days on uh, virtually everybody who ever watched you on the field. You miss him a lot? Uh, I don't miss getting hit. <laughs> <laughs> the pain stays with you forever? Yeah, stay with oh, you for a absolutely. while. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we, we mentioned in the intro, a lot of players, you know, the glory days are gone and they kind of leave it all behind and, and have trouble finding something to do. You've, you've made a profound uh, decision in your life to help young people. How did this start? Well, it started when I was little. Uh, I had coaches always helped me, you know, little league coaches, where it was very important in my life, you know, and they told me three things, believe in myself, work hard, and be disciplined. And it was able for me to make it to the pros. It's hard making it to the pros, a little luck and all that, but I was able to make it. And once I made it, I said I wanted to give back to kids, give them an opportunity. So that's where they come from. First camp was, was in your uh, hometown there in Houston, was it? Yeah, I, start, I started, when I made the pros in 1990, I started doing camps every year at my high school, Cashman High School. And then in 2002, I formed Ham's Camp. And I do after school program for kids, elementary kids from third to the fifth grade. And then in the summer, I still do football camps. Uh, in my high school, the last 10 years, I've been doing it here in Newark, New Jersey. Uh, this year, my first year, I did it in Patterson, New Jersey, two weeks ago. And we had 150 kids to come to the camp for free. So I enjoy doing it. So you said the magic word there, free? Free. These yeah, camps are free? They free. How, do you, how, do you, how can you do it that way? Well, I, just, I have guys that, uh, that I play with. They come out and uh, volunteer a free service. And, you know, O.J. Anderson, Chris Calloway, Jess Onstead. Uh, Some familiar names Keith in there, Anderson, yeah. And all them guys, just, you know, we just swap off f from each other. And what, and what do these children learn? While they're there, what do they uh, experience? It's fundamentals of football, but I always say the fundamentals of life. You know, like I say, believe in yourself. You know, the parents believe in the teachers, the coaches. But if you don't believe in yourself, you make it hard for everybody. So that's the first thing I tell the kids, believe in yourself. The second thing, you got to work hard because somebody always trying to take a job. I was a running back, every year I'm looking on my shoulder for who they dropping this year. Mm -hmm. So I better work extremely hard. And the last but not least, this one is very important, you got to be disciplined. Mm -hmm. You're not disciplined. You know, no matter how much you believe in yourself, no matter how hard you work, you're not just everything go down the, uh, down the ladder. How that do you mean, find these children? What, where do they come from? Uh, most of them are inner city kids, you know, that can't afford to go to a camp that costs $300, $200. You know, for, or a lot more than that. Yeah, yeah. a lot more than that, $700, $1,000. Yeah. But just showing them just the fundamentals of football and the life experience and letting them know if you work hard, good things can happen. Uh, decision to expand. Sometimes... That can be a tricky and, and dangerous move. What, you comfortable with it? Are you go, continue to grow it? Well, I'm, I do it in pretty much the cities that I uh, played in. I mean, I'm from Houston. I do it at my high school. I went to uh, college at the University of Georgia. We do a couple of camps there. In New York, New Jersey, this feel like home. So, you know, uh, the love uh, that I get from the fans and, you know, people want to help out. So it's, it's simple. For some for players, you know, there's almost a resentment that they're held up as role models. You seem to embrace that. Yeah, it's a part of it. I mean, uh, some guys, uh, I be out with some guys and they be complaining about signing an autograph. You know, I say, well, stay in the house. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, so, I mean, it's a part of it. You know, I enjoy it. You know, I like trying to put a smile on somebody's face. I tell people, you know, you wake up in the morning, start smiling. If you... Mm -hmm. You got the angry look on it. Nobody want to be around you. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on not only a great football career, but a great career helping an awful lot of kids. Thank you. Rodney Hampton, thank you. Thank you for having me.